Karim Bol Siddiq, Hackett Professor of Agriculture and the Director of uh, University of Western Australia's Institute of Agriculture. My research interest is in crop physiology, breeding, uh, production agronomy and farming system. During the past uh, 25 years, myself and my team has developed a number of uh, legume crop varieties for Australia, particularly the chickpea. My PhD research here at the University of Western Australia is the first PhD research on chickpea in this country. Today, the chickpea industry is over $300 million per annum to the Australian economy, and I believe that I have contributed significantly to that industry. I have also developed extensive collaboration both within Australia and internationally, particularly with uh, China, India, Europe, and United States in a variety of areas. I see major challenges facing humanity for the next uh, 20 to 50 years is availability of sufficient quantity and quality of food for the growing population. 10,000 years ago, the world had 6 million people. In 1960, the world's population was 3 billion, and the last year, we crossed over 7 billion, and the prediction is that by 2050, we will have over 9 billion people on the planet. Can we feed such a large number of population? In order to feed that number of people, we need to double or even up to 70% more food produced from less land and resources than what is available today. So that's the biggest challenge we're facing. The question then is, can we do that? I believe that we can do that with a number of uh, approaches. We need smarter genetics, improved breeding of crop and animals, innovative farming systems, improved soil health management, and smarter irrigation technologies. The, the science is advancing rapidly, including DNA technology, the cell biology, nanotechnology, and computational power will help us to reach that target and precisely identify genes and traits required for adapting our crops and animals to the climate change scenario. In addition to the science and technology, I believe that policy and economic rationalization need to be done in order to produce sufficient quantity of food and provide that at an affordable price to the growing world population.